How's it going YouTube? Anime Bar Lounge here with Matthias. We're doing another Tokyo treat, this one for the month of May. We're not doing the noodles today because it's too much prep. We are of course gonna start off with the soda. I thought it was a melon soda. Just because it was green? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Delta. I just assumed things. I and mean, there's ice cream and a cherry on it. I, I thought maybe it was like a melon cream soda. It's Calpis though, so it has to be good. Yeah, it says, oh, it does say it's melon. Does it? Calpis melon cream soda. Oh, did you look at that? Yeah. Tastes like a vanilla ice cream float and Japanese melon soda. Why is there no melon on it? <laughs> There's a cherry, but no melon. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, it smells really good. Do you want to go left to right or right to left? No, why don't we try this drink first? Sure. Drink. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. If you go right to left, we'll start with the soccer at candy. Sure, why not? It's like directly made by the Tokyo Treat, or like maybe that's just an affiliation thing. It's a Tokyo, Tokyo Treat. Tre pine yeah. Oh, pine So it's, it is a collab. Tokyo Treat original collaboration with famed Japanese confectionery pine -ami. Classic pineapple flavor it gets the Sakura season makeover in the spring 2022 exclusive. Its unique pineapple shape is now pink with a juicy cherry blossom flavor. All right, this seems very unique, like something that I've never had before, so it's got me excited. Mmm, they got a lot of flavor. Oh no, man, where'd they all go? Yeah, that's solid. Something that I would buy on my own time. Were it available? All right. Next off, we have Tokyo Layer Loaf, strawberry and red bean. That's another Tokyo treat exclusive. We partnered with Tokyo Natural Yeast to bring you this Japanese bread snack with strawberry and sweet red bean paste baked right in. Its sweet flavor is balanced with the richness of the bread. It's like a weird little sandwich. It smells good. Do you want the flavor packet? Oh yeah, of course. Gotta stick it in the middle. Loaf. Mmm, that's a good loaf. Reminds me of those like pinwheels you can buy. And you have a pinwheel? Like those cinnamon pinwheels? No idea what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's not like super sweet, but it's like subtly sweet. It feels like I would want to take one of this and put something else in it. Oh no. Pringles Cream Stew. A new limited time flavor from everyone's favorite can of chips. Pringles serves a rich and gentle cream stew flavor packed with cheesy goodness. We'll definitely have a hard time sharing these. They contain traces of shrimp, crab, and egg. No. <laughs> oh, maybe I got a bullet. They're pretty good. Let me try it. That's just, yeah, it's kind of a chip. <laughs> Not really an intense flavor of anything. Maybe it's just made in a factory that also has those things. Next up, we have Ramen Shop Taro's Ramen Snack. Enjoy the bold flavors of this noodle snack that has the right amount of seasoning and crunch. It's light but full of flavor. If you love ramen, you'll love these. Oh, it's just like eating ramen without cooking it. They don't have like a lot of flavor to them, but like it's enough to be more be flavor than little. like. I mean, I like eating just the ramen packet. I like I'll crunch up a little bit while it's cooking. All right, next up we have Mr. Onion Taro. Corn puff snaps are always popular because they are light, and flavorful, and have a great texture for them. Classic snack comes in an onion soup flavor. The yummy onion flavor and light texture, sure to make this snack. This one is suitable for vegetarians. Yeah. I think no stance on vegan stuff. I think we've had this one before. Maybe. Well, it says wheat, dairy, soy, so probably. That's probably oh, yeah, dairy. Yeah. Puff. Oh. No, I remember. 
remember it. It was very good. Yeah, I wish we had something similar. It'd be like if you made a cheese puff with like one of those onion soup seasonings. Or like the onions. Yeah, they're really good. I feel like we should have a snack like this. It doesn't feel like it'd be the hard to make. We already have onions, just no. Take that powder, put it on cheese balls or something. So next up we have Coco Bolo. Use light and crisp treats, add a hint of rich and bitter chocolate into your spring day. Try them in a bowl of milk or add them into yogurt. Anything goes, there's no laws, there's nothing. May contain trace of shrimp and crab. <laughs> All right, well that explains a lot. So they are made in factories, so. Unless these are just, you know, good old chocolate crab flavor. Well, it's so suitable for, for vegetarians, so. <coughs> no. Cocoa puffs, cocoa puffs. Eat them up. Oh yeah, add them into yogurt. Just put them right in that soda. Yeah. Yeah, they're just like smaller, less sweet cocoa puffs. Yeah. Japanese mini monster gummies. A fruity Japanese gummy snack with a refreshing sour cake kick. Enjoy your next picnic or snack time with these friendly little monsters. How can they be monsters and friendly? No, this isn't a Kirby game. Well, it seems as though the definition of monster precludes some level of, of inherent danger. Otherwise, you should be like a, a creature, <laughs> an animal. It tastes like gummy. Yeah. Oh, now this next one's kind of interesting. Coro Cola Chewing Candy. If you love cola-flavored candy, and these Coro Cola Chewing Candy with the spot with bubbles inside the candy, it'll be just like a nice cold glass of cola. Seems strange. Chewing Cola. What is that texture? Oh my gosh. It like dissolves. There it goes. It's soft like gum and then it just dissolves. Yeah, it feels like you're about to start chewing on some gum. And then it's just it's just gone. I like it, but it's very weird. Yeah. It's almost doughy as well. Yeah, no, I want when you first bite into it, it's like a little dough cracker ball. Yeah. And that becomes gum. And now that's gone. Suitable for vegetarians. No. Apparently, there was meat in this. They're definitely unique. Like, we've, we've gotten to the point of having, like, repeats on some of these. So, like, anything that breaks the mold. It's, it's pretty consistent on the inside, though. Interesting. We have the Sakura Latte m m Marshmallow. We're getting... This is all in all caps. Major spring vibes from these marshmallows. They come in two flavors, Sakura Pink and Sakura Latte White. Enjoy them on their own or as a topic for sweets or drinks. So when they say they come in two colors, it's like within this container or, oh, I do actually see two different, okay. Fucking windy, my dude! Whoa, that is an extremely soft texture. Whoa! These are advanced marshmallow. They taste like nothing. <laughs> well, there's a little bit of an extra taste. They do taste like nothing, but it might just be because of the cola flavor from the last one still. I'm trying to get like different colors, but they're so similar in color. It's yeah, they to... look like the exact same color. Fuck. Oh, awesome. They're like marshmallows if marshmallows had less of a flavor. Like here's a, a stack of, of four of them. They all look exactly the same. Yeah. I like them for the texture, but Flavor-wise, they are super forgettable. 
The texture isn't even great when you eat them. They're just fun to like. Yeah. Like play if you don't it. like if you don't like marshmallow texture, then they're even worse than normal marshmallows. I'd say. Not horrible though. Puku Puku Thai strawberry. Puku Puki Thai is back with its popular strawberry flavor, just in time for your spring picnic. They have a crisp and fluffy texture, covering a strawberry flavored chocolate. Find the heart shaped Monaka wafer. Consider yourself lucky. Strawberry flavored chocolate. That's what they said. Look at the fish. He's a fish. goes you know that that like honeycomb fucking inside uh -huh. whoa I was not expecting that texture difference yeah here. I like it though mm. some of its flavors weird huh. I actually really like that I am now upset that it is not purchasable within the area. Um, the conflicting textures throw me off. And it's not like my favorite strawberry thing. But I like its design. I think the weirdest part about it is that the center is cold. Yeah. Like it's insulated from, from the outside area. Well, it's designed like a taiyaki. So that's interesting. By the way, I... I'm not huge on it, but I can see why rate. someone would like it. It's almost like a Kit Kat texture-wise, but like... Soft. Because it's like crunchy, well, but it's like those soft. wafer bars. Yeah. With fish. Fish. And better. Alright, next <laughs> up we have Mochi Taru. Classic dagashi from Yalkin. These lightly salted rice crackers come in a traditional package. They are enjoyed by all generations in Japan, and they make for both the classic after perfect afternoon snack, and they're even better outside under the cherry blossoms. We unfortunately lack cherry blossoms, but we did successfully make it outside. I do remember having these a few times. Yeah. And they're always pretty good. They're like a good palate cleanser. Nothing huge flavor-wise, but just a nice, chill, salty snack. Speaking of ones we've had before, Sparrow's Egg Crackers. A classic sweet and spicy soy sauce flavored peanut based snack oh, fried yeah. in flour yeah, yeah. I, re I remember now sure is a peanut yep they're good they are I don't usually like peanut stuff but which I probably said last time I like the bird huh? or yogurt pudding there's a fucking actual cherry blossom in the in there <laughs> How strange. Yeah, so we missed it's this little yogurt. Bonus. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. So apparently uh, I must have used a code or something to get this and forgot about it. So we got a little bonus pudding Well, thing. you said it was Yogurt like, pudding. It was arriving late. Maybe they threw it in oh, there. Oh, so maybe that's why it arrived late. Um, we don't have utensils, so uh, we're going to do the Kit Kats next. There's no Pocky this time, by the way, which yeah, I am a little so. outraged. That's whatever. But. We got this instead. I think that's an acceptable substitution. Really for Pocky? I mean, I guess because we can split it. Like we yeah. Use Pocky. The Kit Kats are the best thing anyway. But banana caramel. What? What? So I guess packaging something went off because one of my Kit Kats is already open. I think you opened it when you opened it. Oh, I like, like double opened it. So uh, yeah. some mysterious person, a.k.a. me, fucked with it. I think it was like up up there in the corner. So when you ripped the corner open, yeah. you also ripped that package open. 
I'm sure a camera will catch me doing it, and then they'll be like, this motherfucking idiot doesn't know how to open Kit Kat. So it looks like they got already a little melty, which makes sense because we did have a heat wave a couple weeks ago. So and also, it would have been they've been sitting right out here this whole time. But maybe that'll make them better. And if they were in your room, your room's a sauna. I have the AC running, so... Well, doesn't always help. <laughs> Alright. Good cat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can definitely taste the banana. That's good. Oh, the caramel comes in with an aftertaste. I guess I'll go grab us some spoons. That guy, right? All right, so now that he's gone, subscribe to me. On what? Your choice. All right, he's coming. We didn't have this chat. Back with the spoon. The spoon is, is so well that it just right. sucks it all. all right. Yogurt pudding. The box wanted to be open. Texture. <laughs> I almost wonder if we were supposed to put this in the fridge. It's shipped from overseas, so I don't... I know, but like maybe you needed to put it in the fridge to re-harden it. I don't know. It tastes good. I want my pedal boat. Yeah, Just gonna eat the whole pedal? Yeah. Yeah, it's a cherry blossom. I thought it was gonna be like drier or something. Well, I guess it, how's it gonna be dry? It's it's encased. It tastes good. That's all that matters. This guy. What did you think? I thought it was weird. I thought it tasted good, but that it was weird. Because well, it has two different textures going on. Well, the two textures didn't feel that different. It was just like one of them is like a Jello. They're both like jello. Well, the top one's like slightly less jello. They both feel like jello that isn't as solid as I, I would expect it to be. All right, what were your favorite things in the box? Um, the fish, the hard candy, and the kick out. And the soda, of course. But Mine's the soda, that's a given. Um, the Kit Kat for sure. Um, Pringles were weirdly okay. Pringles were weirdly okay. I don't know, probably just, I actually really like the yogurt too. So probably the yogurt, the Kit Kats, and the drink. Those are my top three. Um, I like the theming on this, but the actual snacks, I feel like, Maybe just because we've had it so many times. I don't feel like they were as good as some of my other ones. But well, the, you know, I also think that the theming could go a little bit deeper. Yeah. It's agree. it's like the, the choice, like, poster items have the theme. Especially because the soccer And then there's just some basic ones. So big. Like, I, I don't know. This might be expensive, but, like, I feel like make getting, like, a bag of the, like, little soccer petals that, like, that were in there would have been cool. Uh, like, while I think... The, uh, the, like, onion ball and the, those, like, cracker things were, were good. They aren't themed at all. Yeah. And we've had them before, which obviously... Multiple times not infinite. Point. I, I don't snacks, mind repeats, but... but I feel like some of them are, have become, like, staples, which I'm torn on. Because I like seeing them again for the familiarity aspect, but I also get, I get the box to try new things. So when it's something I've tried several times before, it is a bit of a letdown. Also, the soda is like kind of smaller this time. Like, I, I, I assume that's just because that's what they had probably to. Like, they they just choose a certain type and whatever there is. There and I is. feel like the soda could have been themed better. I mean, I guess it's green. Green, green melon is kind of springish, but like I don't know. I think like a pink drink could have been cool. 
I mean, it's it's just nitpicking, really. It's not. They like can a only huge get deal, what they but... can get sometimes too. I'm yeah. sure. Like they have. Plus, I'm sure, like like they've been around for a few years it's also, now. It's also probably shipping concerns. Yeah. Wait, true. Plus, I mean, you don't want your fee. You don't want it to be too similar to the same one from last year, which we had we had never had. But like, I don't know what their one from last year looked like. But like, of course, the one from last month was a very similar one. True, true. Theming. Yeah. Thanks for checking out us trying Tokyo Treat. This has been Anime Bar Lounge with Matthias. Take it easy.